Hi everybody, your home on Susan James. We're in my backyard today, and I'm going to show you how you can convert an old swing set into a chicken coop. Let's go and take a look. So here's my chicken coop, and it uh, it started off life as a it's a kid's swing set, and uh, my kids have since outgrown it. Um, they had a great time playing with it, uh, and then I was left with this big set and what to do with it, take to the tip. Uh, or give it to someone else and actually spent quite a bit of money on this one buying a treated pine one um, that was rather rather quite well built so uh, I thought to myself hey I've got a chicken coop I probably bought two or three of those sort of fir wood timber ones that have fallen apart um, and the one I had at the time was really uh, really ran down and fallen apart and I thought hey I'll repurpose it and I'll build a chicken coop so um, that's what I've done. Uh, relatively low cost with the exception of uh, buying the, the wire meshing that went over the, 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 the swing set itself. Um, very cheap uh, way to, uh, to make a really effective uh, chicken coop. So I'll give you a bit of a closer look at what's going on here. Um, really you could buy any, any swing set that's got an A-frame -frame and, uh, and convert it into one of these. So you know, even if you haven't got uh, kids with an old swing set and you're looking at building one, uh, you can pick these up generally free. People are trying to get rid of them. Um, and then convert your own. So let's take a bit of a closer look at uh, what I've got going on here. We'll do a bit of a tour, uh, and then I'm gonna show you how to make some, uh, some nesting boxes, because I do need to make some nesting boxes in here, because uh, my little silky chicken's in there, as you'll see, uh, having trouble getting up into the one I've got in there. So let's take a look at the, uh, at the coop, uh, and then uh, we'll meet back to, uh, to build some uh, nesting boxes. Okay, so tour of the coop. So from the outside looking in here, you can see I've got the A-frames that I've covered with Avery wire. Now I went with Avery wire rather than chicken wire because I didn't want the small birds, uh, the sparrows, etc., coming into my coop and pinching on my chicken feed. So I've gone with a tighter net. Uh, I've secured it using those galvanized nails that you can buy, those U-shaped ones in each corner. And then I've just used basic Avery clamps with a set of Avery pliers, which are available from any hardware store uh, to join the wire together. For the door, um, got a nice big door here. It is actually off my old chicken coop. It's made of that fir wood uh, and it will need to be replaced at some point, but for now it's doing the job. Um, I like it, nice and big and I can walk into this coop. I'm six foot tall, I can come in, I can clean it, I can collect my eggs, I can change the food, the water. The old ones, I couldn't get in them. It was always awkward. Um, this is much, much better. For the framing, all I've done is run some treated pine that I had lying around in the yard. Um, from the bottom of the frame of the swing set up to the top of the frame and that's given me a really good platform to build things off so um, it was really yeah it worked, worked really quite well for the water for the feeders um, anyone who's had chooks will know that they love to make a mess of their water um, so i've got it up and i've got it elevated and the old uh, the old rungs that the the swing ropes used to hang from i've kept there and i've swapped it out for a piece of chain and a uh, and one of those water feeder gravity feed fountain things um, they can't knock the water over and they can't mess the water, at least it's, it's better. Uh, for their purchase, so they can get to the water. Uh, I've just used some fire, so, some wood that I'd have for the fire inside. And I've, the rungs that actually used to climb up to onto the tower, uh, I've converted and made them into little perches uh, from, from log to log so they can jump up there and, uh, and have their water. Uh, for the feed, I've got some stormwater pipe. I've used 100 mil stormwater on this one with a 45 and a 90 degree elbow. Um, really basic gravity feed system. Um, I've got three chickens at the moment, a wine dot and a couple of silkies. They go through about one of these tubes uh, every week and the tube's probably a metre um, with a cap on top. So food stays dry, stays clean, they can't mess it around. Other birds don't get to it. Uh, it's really come up quite well. Uh, for the nesting boxes themselves, uh, I've got, uh, I've used the tower platform uh, in there and uh, just a couple of bits of treated pine and made a little, little bit of a box for them. I have covered it up on the outside with a sheet of gal, dirt cheap, I think it was about 30 bucks, and some old weatherboards that I had lying around in the backyard uh, as well. So I've got a nice little hutch area there. Look here, here's the ramp I've got, it's a treated pine sleeper and it leads up into where the nesting box uh, goes currently and this is where the wine dot hangs out. And one dot's the bigger one there. And then I've got two silkies here. Now these silkies are sleeping on those little perches that are in the corner that are actually stabilizing um, the, the frame. And I find them sleeping there. With winter coming up, I really don't want them um, chilling out there because they will freeze. So where this, uh, this step and ladder is, I'm gonna shorten that and bring it across to where the sleeper is so that the, there's still a ramp up into the hen house because I'm gonna get a few more hens. And I'm going to put a nesting box in this space here, hanging from the bottom of that tower platform. So let's jump in the shed 
uh, and crash one of those out. Okay, so the nesting boxes. Uh, what I'm gonna use here is uh, some offcuts of some marine plywood that I've got. This is uh, 19 millimeter thick marine ply. And the reason I'm gonna use the marine ply, it'll hold up much better out there in the elements. Uh, it is a sort of undercover there under the gal uh, hood of the, um, of, the, of the chook pen, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I will any exposed cuts, I'll probably give the whole thing a coat. Uh, just in polyurethane just to make it last a little bit longer out there in the weather because if you go ahead and try and use regular plywood uh, even structural stuff or you know mdf or anything like that it's just going to break down on you and be no good uh, and you'll go out there in six months and it'll fall apart so this stuff will be the go uh, and basically it's it's really uh straightforward box building so i've got the use of my table saw here which will make it super super easy for me uh, i'm going to go and cut all my panels up and we'll come back and have a look at the assembly let's go We've got all our panels cut up now, um, so we're up to the assembly point. Now, I'm not going to bore you with all the measurements and the sizing of all these. I'll drop them in the uh, description below uh, if you're interested in, uh, in knowing the exact sizing. Uh, but for the assembly, uh, what I'm going to be using, I'm going to use this Type Bond uh, 3 because it's what I've got. I'm going, to, I'm going to use predominantly glue, but I am also going to screw this with um, some treated pine screws, some outdoor screws. Uh, if, if I uh, can be bothered in the front, I'll, uh, I'll put in some dowels so there's no screws exposed in the front. Um, but beyond that, it'll be uh, glued and screwed. Uh, it should be nice and sturdy for our, for our chickens to, uh, to, to nest in. Let's get to the assembly. And there we have it, there's our nesting box all complete. Look, mine have got a little bit carried away with the routing and the, uh, the burning off of the, the letters in there to make it, you know, give it a nice bit of effect, add a, add a bit of a touch. But um, other than that, it's all done. I'm not gonna bother even giving it a sand or anything like that. It's going out in a, in a chook pen after all. So um, I am gonna just seal up these edges. I'm just gonna use a bit of cabothane um, polyurethane just on the edges of it, just to keep a bit of water out of the, uh, the ply. Um, and that's it, we'll go and install it. So let's go. There you go. I hope this video has given you some inspiration to turn your uh, swing set into a chicken coop and uh, get that self-satisfaction of a DIY project done well yourself uh, and avoid losing some money on those, uh, on those cheap ones that you can buy on the, uh, on the internet. I'm going to leave the video there. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Uh, you'll see this and more content and won't miss anything coming out. Uh, and of course, comments are always welcome. Perhaps you've built your own chicken coop. Uh, drop them in the comment section below. I'd love to see all that. Uh, but you've been Home on the Tools with James. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.